Uh, to me, this is really a prayer to encounter the Holy Spirit. And that's really a lot of the imagery of the song is times that we have read about the Holy Spirit moving in the Bible, um, coming upon Jesus at the baptism, coming upon the disciples upon the day of Pentecost. And it's really, to me, this song is a prayer for God to do that same thing personally for myself or for whoever's going to hear the song. I want, Holy Spirit, I'm, I'm reading about what you've done. I've heard about that you've encountered people, that you use people, that you live in people, that you move in people, and I want you to move in me also. With your righteous word and your love. George came with most of the song already. Um, we kind of helped him just put it together and um, to get what he wanted to say and to put that into, into words. Um, and I think something that, that stood out to me was, was, I guess what I just, what I had said earlier is that, you know, we read about, um, you know, the Holy Spirit encountering people or you hear testimonies or you see people being used by God. And this was just a way of us putting into words that we want this for ourselves. It was um, Manny, myself, George, Ronald, uh, we were writing the song together. George had come with the idea with the chorus and the bridge. And um, co-writing is always, is kind of a, a challenge because it's, you're trying to help someone else bring out what's inside of them or the idea that they have in their head that they can't quite put into words themselves. Sometimes you'll just talk yourself into a circle and then you just come back to where you were, which is kind of what we were laughing about earlier, is that it wasn't always that quick, but it was like you would always end up just kind of coming back, okay, so yeah, we're doing what we, what we had already said we were gonna do. Or just, you know, somebody gets it in a moment, it's like, that okay so we could you know yeah there's times in the bible that the holy spirit you know filled people when jesus was baptized he was filled with the holy spirit it became like a dove upon him you know and the father's blessing was there and the heavens were open we could say something like that or like that there was a move of the you know mighty rushing wind or tongues of fire coming on them or you know something like that or the place that they were was shaken we could say stuff like that and then you keep talking about all these things and it's like, okay, so what if we just said, like the heavens are open, the Holy Spirit's coming upon us, you know? It's like, okay, so we just worked all the way back around to take the idea and to put it into the simplest words to fit the, the song. It's, it's very, very straightforward to me. I, the, the Bible says, in when Jesus was teaching his disciples how to pray, who, who among you, if their child comes and asks for bread, would give them a rock or a stone? Or if they ask for fish, they're gonna give them a snake. You know, how, how do you think that you being evil know how to go give good gifts to your children? How much more will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? And you know, part of, part of praying is asking God for the Holy Spirit to come and to move. The Bible says that He helps in our weaknesses and in our infirmities, you know, because we don't know how to pray. We don't know how to really to bring, you know, the, God's kingdom and His will and His righteousness, but He does. And so inviting Him into your prayer time, inviting Him into your, into your life to move in you, to move um, in when you pray or to just in how you live life, you know, that if you ask for it, that the, the Father will send the Holy Spirit. And that's what this song says. It says, come, come move in me, Holy Spirit, come move like a fire, come move like all these things, you know. And if you, if you pray that, or even if you just sing along to that and with all your heart, you know the Father will send the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will reveal Himself. And he will reveal Jesus and He will lead you to the Father. All the things the Bible says that He will do.